Now then, this is episode three of the Steam Locomotive Build. there we go that was a nice little trip out we've got the holes done now we've moved not only the reverser layer shaft that's been dropped down to where it should be in accordance to the center of the axle um, I've also moved the brake layer shaft I've moved it further away from this bracket and also dropped it down a little bit so with regards to where it is in reference to the, the center of the axle these are now spot on so all I've got to do now is drill the holes for mounting the bearings right so apparently in episode 2 I didn't have a tea break. I think we'll have biscuits on the next one.
these are the bearings for the lay shafts the 20 mil hole the only thing I don't like about these is these holes I think they're designed for 12 mil bolts but for what we're doing on the steam engine I think that's a bit excessive there's not going to be that much stress on them that it requires a 12 mil bolt so I'm just going to make some reducers that's at press in Right, so I've quickly made these up. They're not precise, they're not precision. Just something I've knocked up. Uh, hole in the middle is for an M10. They go on, like that. And then these get inserted into these holes on the bearings. These are like they're over 12 mil, but I think 12 mil is a bit excessive for putting these bearings onto the frames. So I've made these, and they'll go in like that. They just need a little bit of a press to get them a bit further in, but that's that's how I've designed it. So it's a little little bit of a press fit, and then the M10 bolt can go through. Just finish pre just finish them off by pressing them in the vise. And then they're ready to fit. As you can see there's not much there's not much force put on. Just enough to uh, that I made them just enough, just to hold. There's a little bear on the back and it's just enough just to make it hold inside the holes. Right, so there we go. Done. Finished. Completed. Ready to fit. The plan of putting the brass reducing washers into the bearings to get rid of a bit of the slop didn't turn out quite as expected. All the dimensions for these bearings are slightly different. Not one of them is the same. So the holes that I've drilled in my frames, which are all bob on, none of these fit once you reduce them down. It just takes the dimensions too far out. So for now, I've knocked them back out. And we'll come back to this once we have the frames together because it might just be a case that we leave the reducing bushes out and we just get them to sit where they should be so that probably will involve a little bit of measuring it's quite annoying but every day is a school day and sometimes you've got to go backwards to go forwards i do wish we were going forwards in steam though so where does this leave the project well i think we're ready to put the frames back together there's just two things that need to be done. We need to put a bit of primer on, especially in the areas where we're gonna be bolting angle irons 
frame stretchers, you know, all those types of pieces, because hopefully it won't be coming back apart. So if we put a bit of primer on now, on each, on each of the faces, then we've got the protection from rust. And the other thing that needs to be done is I need to just tweak the plates in a bender or a press, because there are a couple of places where they are slightly curved, which if I deal with them now, I don't have to take them apart. But at the minute, I don't have a tool for that. Other news is that the cranks for the end of the axles, I've sent them to my friend for him to machine the holes out. Because unfortunately, I, I don't have a milling machine. It's the best machine to get them as accurate as I want. So unfortunately, there is no, there won't be any filming for that, which is actually a shame. But I don't plan to just build one steam engine. There's more to come, hopefully, once I get this one finished, maybe one day. So that's going to be it for this episode. Obviously, I was hoping to get a little further in this episode, but we've had to go a little bit backwards with what we've done. Although this seems to be a bit of a waste of a video, it's a good example of the things that you may encounter when you're building a project. Things don't always go as planned. Yes, we have the lay shaft holes put in the right place. We've got the bolt holes for the bearings in the right place. But unfortunately, the bearings aren't of that good quality that the dimensions are all the same on each one. These are the things that you may encounter. If you like what you see on the channel, please do, if you haven't already, and thank you to all that have, click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get notified when we next release a video. Don't forget to give it the thumbs up and put a comment down below. If you've ever made a slight mistake or you found something that's not gone, gone to plan, we'd love to hear from you. Join me next time in the trials and tribulations of me going further backwards than forwards on building a steam engine. Stay safe. Laters.